Deep in the heart of an ancient forest, three adventurous stoners embarked on a weekend camping adventure, seeking an escape from the monotony of their urban lives. Excitement tingled in the air as they pitched their tents and unpacked their supplies, unaware of the consequences that awaited them. As the sun dipped below the horizon, they gathered around the campfire, passing a joint and sharing tales of their wildest escapades. Laughter echoed through the trees, mingling with the rustle of leaves and the soothing melodies of nocturnal creatures. But in their carefree revelry, they neglected to tend to their surroundings. Empty beer cans and food wrappers littered the forest floor, their careless disregard for nature's sanctity staining the once pristine in the once pristine environment. Unbeknownst to them, their thoughtless actions had awakened an ancient evil. From the depths of the forest, a chilling wind whispered their transgressions, stirring the ire of a vengeful entity known as the Wendigo. As night settled in, a bone-chilling howl pierced the silence, sending shivers down their spines. The stoners exchanged nervous glances, their once light-hearted demeanor now tinged with unease. Shadows danced menacingly between the trees, concealing the approaching malevolence. The Wendigo, a creature of nightmares, emerged from the darkness. Its hulking figure loomed tall and gaunt, its eyes blazing with an insatiable hunger. Its elongated limbs propelled it forward with supernatural speed, closing the distance between itself and the stoners. Panic gripped their hearts as they realized the gravity of their situation. They stumbled through the underbrush, their breaths ragged and their hearts pounding with terror. Each step they took seemed to bring them deeper into the clutches of the Wendigo's wrath. With each passing moment, the chase grew more treacherous and relentless. The stoners pushed their bodies to the limit, fueled by adrenaline and the primal instinct to survive. Branches clawed at their skin, thorns tore at their clothes, and the forest seemed to morph into a twisted maze designed to ensnare their very souls. The Wendigo's haunting cries echoed through the trees, a haunting symphony that filled the air with despair. Its icy breath brushed against their necks, a constant reminder of its relentless pursuit. Fear gnawed at their resolve, threatening to consume them whole. Days turned into nights, blurring together in a haze of exhaustion and fear. Their bodies ached, their spirits waned, but still, they pressed on, their will to survive their only guiding light. They dared not look back, for the Wendigo's presence lurked just behind, its eyes fixated on their every move. Each passing moment brought them closer to the edge of despair, hunger, gnawed at their empty stomachs, sleep eluded their weary eyes, and their once boisterous laughter was replaced by desperate whispers of hope. But amidst the encroaching darkness, a sliver of determination flickered within them. Finally, on the brink of physical and mental collapse, they stumbled upon an ancient, dilapidated cabin. With trembling hands, they pushed open its creaking door, seeking refuge within its decaying walls. But the respite was short-lived, for the Wendigo's cry echoed through the night, reverberating with a chilling promise of retribution. Within the cabin's confines, their world became a macabre labyrinth of shadows and despair. The walls seemed to close in, whispering malevolent secrets. Their feeble attempts to barricade the door were met with a force beyond their comprehension, as if the very wood itself conspired against them. The Wend, the Wend, Ego's presence loomed closer, its icy breath chilling their souls. It was a battle against the forces of darkness, a test of their resilience and sanity. In the face of overwhelming terror, they clung to each other, their spirits intertwining in a desperate bid for survival. But as the Wendigo's haunting figure materialized in the cabin's entrance, its claws poised to strike. A glimmer of ancient wisdom shone through the haze of fear. In a final act of desperation, one of the stoners reached into their pocket, pulling out a small pouch of cannabis. With trembling hands, they ignited the cannabis, allowing the smoke to fill the cabin. The air became thick with its pungent aroma, suffusing the space with an otherworldly energy. The Wendigo recoiled, its icy grip loosening, as the sacred herb's essence wove its way into the very fabric of its existence. In a blinding burst of light, the Wendigo vanished, its malevolence consumed by the transformative power of the cannabis. The stoners emerged from the cabin, their bodies battered but their spirits unbroken. They gazed at the forest with newfound reverence, vowing to protect its sanctity and never again fall victim to its rot. As they left the forest behind, their footsteps laden with the weight of the harrowing ordeal they had endured, the haunting cries of the Wendigo faded into the distance. The forest stood silent, 
a silent witness to the stoners' journey forever marked by the lingering presence of the supernatural. But the stoners carried the lessons of that terrifying encounter with them, forever changed by their harrowing experience. They would forever respect the balance between humanity and nature, aware of the darkness that lurked in the shadows, waiting to be awakened by their own heedless actions.